Father all and fiddly dee. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, honey. You? You got a problem with that? In 1997, Whitney Houston's long dream to bring Cinderella to television had come true, and E.T. was on the set. Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage. Impossible. It took four years to bring this project together. Yeah. And I stuck with this project for four years and until I decided that I wasn't, going to be, I wasn't going to be Cinderella and that I would be the fairy godmother. That's when executive producer Whitney chose 18-year-old Brandy, who had idolized Whitney for years. Brandy was definitely handpicked by me. Really? I definitely wanted her to be Cinderella, yes. This is my dream and it's come true. I finally get to work with Whitney. Impossible, impossible. At 33, Whitney chose to be the fairy godmother, a role that took less time to film. I knew there was someone who was a lot more full of energy for that kind of stuff yeah. than I was. I mean, I'm, I'm a little jaded. On the energy level. Like, <laughs> you're on the low. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you have kids and stuff, you know, and, you know, you get kind of like, you know, uh, slow down right. a little bit. And just then, her daughter, four-year-old Bobby Christina, arrived with Daddy Bobby. Oh, they just came like the other day. I'm, I'm, I'm a happier woman. I miss them very, very much. Isn't she something? She's growing up on me. It's for reasons like that, that um, this is existing. But the world is full of zanies and fools. I wanted every child to see it, you know? I wanted parents to see it. It was the original Rodgers and Hammerstein version of Cinderella. The songs performed exactly as first done in 1957. Please do no, that. I, I, that's so dope. Please. That's so nice. That, please. <laughs> Whitney and Brandy were practically attached at the hip in the recording studio for the TV movie. Impossible. That was great. Love it. Love it. Love it. Keep take, that one. That's keep that take. Track. Yeah. Now this is by far my favorite Cinderella, but for a complete ranking of the best Cinderella movies of all time, head on over to etonline.com.